one of our popular Simon Says stamp, stamp sets, Floral Garden, has been an absolute favorite for all of you to stamp and color. But what if coloring could be so much easier? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the coordinating and brand new Floral Garden stencils to color in this popular stamp. The stencil set comes as a set of two and lines up perfectly with the large stamp that's in the Floral Garden stamp set. You have the option of purchasing the stamps and stencils together if you don't have the set at all, or if you already have the stamp set, you can purchase the stencils on their own. To use these, you're gonna start first by stamping your image. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use our Simon's Stamp Intense Black Ink, but you could also heat emboss this too for a beautiful embossed finish. I'm stamping onto some Simon's Stamp 120 pound white card stock, and I'm going to pull out the two stencils. So as you can see, these are fairly large. They're about six by eight. And because there are two layers, it makes it super easy for you to color in the florals and leaves separately from each other. I'm using some Simon's Stamp very, very low tack tape to hold this stencil in place. I have a piece of tape on both the top and the bottom. Next, we're going to bring out our blending brushes. And for this, I recommend our Simon's Stamp detail blending brushes, and I'm going to use the round ones, but you could also use the flat too. With our positively saturated ink, I'm going to start coloring different florals from the stamp set through the stencil. I love that the round detail brushes allow me to get a really smooth application of ink and it helps me control where I'm putting the color. So as you can see, I've colored this layer with a variety of our Simon Says Stamp positively saturated inks. And once I removed it, I laid the second layer on top and lined it up with the other images that have yet to been colored. I'll then bring in my inks once more with my blending brushes and color in the remaining images. I can remove the stencil now at this point and reveal that the entire image has been completely colored and has a beautiful, soft, ink blended finish. You could even accent your florals further by maybe adding a little bit of paste in certain areas. You could put a layer of clear paste on top of some sections for more of a glossy finish. You have a lot of creative options by having stencils to color in your stamped images like our floral garden stamps. Don't forget that these products are available over at our Simon Says Stamp store, not just the stamps and the stencils, but also all the other items that I featured today in this video. I hope this quick tip was helpful and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more crafty inspiration. I'm Heidi, Simon's Mama and founder at SimonSaysStamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.